What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. It's the first time hit thumbs me up, click like, subscribe below. Okay, so I was supposed to have, um, have all of this already ready for you guys. So, uh, <laughs> I'm hungry. It's just funny, um, as the title suggested, we'll be talking about what you think we'll be talking about because that's what we're going to be talking about. And amongst other things, of course. Um, so I have some Papa John's fully loaded pizza for you guys today. Um, there's chicken, sausage, bacon, ham, and um, all this. Yeah, uh oh. Yeah. So hopefully, y'all can see that fairly well. And then I also have a dozen uh, donuts um, because I had a taste for some crispy cream donuts. <laughs> Sorry for the language. Let them never close again, will it? Oh, man. Oh, well. Okay. And some donuts. Oh, let's get a um, thumbnail. What did this call that in here? Thumbnail. Oh, wait. Let's do this. All right, so let's eat. Um, so we're talking about the August Alcinas. I'm going to play y'all some, some clips. Cause, uh, <laughs> It good. Uh, she was entangled. You know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. First of all, I want to say congratulations to, um, you know, the two. Um, this is not a bashing. If you thought that's what this was, you're wrong. Um, so first of all, I want to say congratulations because, um, you know, what's happening in their relationship happens in relationships in our community quite a lot. And I've seen it and witnessed it myself. And, you know, it's not talked about. It's swept under the rug. And, you know, we're perfect. And we sit on a pew, first pew in the church, and da-da-da-da. Here's your slice of pizza, you guys. You know what I'm saying? We're deacon and deaconesses and... Um, you know, what have you, and, and it don't happen to us, perfect, you know, so that's just, um, you know, kudos to them for standing up and talking about um, a, an undiscussed subject because obviously, it, it, you know, it happens and it happens to a lot of people and um, it causes other things to transpire versus getting over it. Now, I watched the one that I watched was 12 Minutes. Uh, did y'all hear that ASMR? Did y'all get that? So the one that I watched was 12 minutes. And, um... Oh my god. So it was 12 minutes. So I'm gonna play the first clip. Mmm. 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 I was in the order of Popeye's, but... That didn't go through. Popeyes didn't go through. It's just so funny that this should happen because um, and y'all see the videos. This is videos gonna come out before my Houston videos. I think I did three when I was in Houston, and y'all see those. Those videos, but it's just so funny that you know, a particular thing they're they're going through. I'm not married or nothing like that, but you know, we're going. Here's the first clip. I'll let y'all listen to it. I guess so. And it all started with I just needed some help. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Yes, for me, that was the thing when I, when, um, when Og first came around, he was, he was really he was sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick, yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different reasons. So that was the first clip. So they were saying that they found all these resources, you know, to help him. They were really trying to help him. This is how it starts. I'm sure 
a lot of people have probably been through situations like that, you know, maybe not one exactly like theirs, but in a situation of need, the type of love is very familiar um, to the love that you give when you're loving someone. Love is love. Love is universal, you know. Um, whoops, something hanging on my hat. Um, Fresh crush. Oh yeah. So basically, um, that's what initially happened. Now, I'm not sorry. I just want to put another clip. I watched the whole thing. When I mean, I'm watching stuff like that, I'm watching for reactions and you know to see um you know when one person you know repositions and you know <laughs> things like that like how the mannerisms and you know when somebody says this how the facial expression and, you know, I look for things like that I pick it apart but these two are so clever and they've done this for so long it's so hard it's very hard um, to pick them apart mm. Not to say that you should want to have to pick them apart, but you know, even watching the interview, you can definitely tell. Uh, um, this one, the one I'm sure more will come out. So don't bash me because I'm sure more will come out. Um, as time go by, and y'all may see this video later, then you know. So don't bash me or nothing like that. This may have come out before more information. So yeah, I'll play another clip. So yeah, y'all, and sometimes, the reason why I'm playing the clip, <laughs> sometimes you have to hear from the horse's mouth, you know? Even a lot of people, even still, they'll still say, nah, that ain't what they have, that ain't what it meant. The horse, listen to the horse. All right, y'all ready? All right, come on. Hold on. Into a different kind of entanglement mm. with August. Mm. One thing I want to get clear about to clean up one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, which is uh, she was entangled. You know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But what August was probably trying to communicate. Mm -hmm. Because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated amicably. Yeah. And we're separated. I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a home wrecker. Which he's not. I think so. I mean, because this is your red table and you like brought yourself to the red table. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with <laughs> August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> he laughs. A relationship. Yes, it was a relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Mm -hmm. um, in the process of it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. August, you got my vote for president. <laughs> you got my vote, brother. Yeah, he had Jada. But she never stated how, what type. You have to understand, everybody always takes relationship to a sexual tip. I mean, I haven't even been sexual. But for a lot of people, and for men in general, I'm not going to say men in general, but for a lot of men, um, uh, even a, um, a form of speech it's considered cheating. <clears throat> you spoke in another man's presence. I'm just saying a lot of me. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that maybe it's something that has to be changed. You know? Um, because um, she made the comment um, only I can give permission. You know? Like basically saying, you know, yeah, we married, but it don't belong to you. And not to say that it should have to. 
And that's it's just very barbaric to think that uh, your body part belongs to another person anyway, so let's just get that clear. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. But, um, you should know how that goes in today's society. A lot of men, and I'm, I'm giving them a man's perspective here. This person's perspective. So I said, not a man. I'm not speaking for anyone. Um, but just in my experience, you know, they just feel like, you know, when they're, when you're theirs or y'all are married, you know, if they own you, <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. I've heard them say it, you know. So, kudos to her for speaking up <laughs> for herself. And kudos to him. Because from my perspective, the man is human. Mm. He's human. Regardless of however y'all, you know, got it set up for where this is this and that and, and that is that and not at all. He's human. journey I learned so much mm -hmm. about myself and was able to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity emotional insecurity and I was really able to do some really deep healing mm -hmm. you know and as I came through and started to realize certain things about you and I he decided to break all communication with me mm. Mm. So y'all hear that? So what do y'all take from this? What do y'all take? I really want, you know, serious, genuine comments, not the, I couldn't do that, nah, nah, nah. Because, you have to understand. Yes, marriage is a, um, you know, it's bonding. But, you're still a human. You know what I'm saying? And what she's attempting to do, from my opinion, is not categorize her mistake as a human, you know, error. She's just basically saying, it was a humanistic thing for me to do. You've expressed your opinions towards it. I've expressed mine. You know? And from what I saw, he didn't really express very much. So, curious to know, um, what was not being said, you know? I'm very curious to know what was not being said because there are definitely things not being said. Um, let me get into these donuts. Excuse me. Mm. <laughs> mm. I mean, definitely things not being said, you know. But she says she does not look at it like it was a trans transgression. I know a lot of people are probably gonna say that's just crazy. It's just barbaric. I'm gonna say why would she um, do him like that? I have a defense. This is what a lot of people don't understand. Adult decisions that are made together are not one-sided. You know, you can't choose when a person, you know, when you two make some type of, you know, decision together as adults, as married adults, you can't 
um, and I'll say, well, this is the subsection, subsection, subsection in situations like that. No. <laughs> it's unfortunate it's not how it go. And somebody gonna say, I'm sure, well, if they feeling like that, and they feel like they gotta do all that, then why they just won't break it off and that? That's the, for better or worse, that a lot of y'all, you know, get divorces over. <laughs> That's what that was. But when you say for better or worse, you can't. I can't put a um a category on what you feel it is, you know. Dip out when it's not working for you. I mean, you can. You know, everybody has the right to, you know, do what they want. But that's that. <laughs> In case anybody was wondering. And not say that it's always that, you know what I'm saying? But essentially, that's what that was, you know. I'm sure there'll be other moments. Maybe not as dramatic as that, but that's a part of it. And she still didn't say, I mean, what exactly, from what I saw, and I'm sure more clips will come out. Um, you no, know, as time goes by, but from what I saw, she still didn't say what they did. <laughs> Jada, I know you're not seeing my YouTube video, but let me just uh, lick your boot. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yeah, I'm Jada Pinky fans. Um, don't. August, bro. Will, I'm sorry, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like I feel kind of bad for bro. I'm not bad, but you know, cause I know the feeling. Like I've been in a similar, you know, type of situation, and as to where, you know, all bets are on the table. You know, as a human, I feel a certain kind of way, but at the same time, I, I, you know, contributed. You know, what I'm saying I played my role. Well, not very much I could say when it was time to. You know, she hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? You know, same with this recent situation. Um, hey man, y'all see it in my face in the videos. Hey man. Anyway, I think I have one more video. Let's listen. So, to um, clear it up, she said that it wasn't a situation to where, you know, you did me wrong, so I'm going to do you wrong. You know, nobody's going to get anybody back. And he, and he said, no, for me, that is a situation. And he, I guess, plans on it, I guess. So. That's what you want. <laughs> I think about that. Hmm? Now, at the end of um, the video that I watched, we kind of did a uh, handshake. Will shook that girl, slapped that girl hand so goddamn hard. <laughs> I know I wasn't the only one noticed it. He slapped her hand so damn hard. 
Like, he slapped the wrist off of him. Like, if she had her on any jewelry, the imprint of the jewelry would have been in her skin. He mad. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't care. He mad. I don't care. And, you know, men get mad differently, you know. Uh, I want y'all to watch the video and then come back and comment. You can Google it. You can look on YouTube. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of versions of it out by now, but like I said, the one I watched was, you know, he was interviewing her. Will was interviewing Jada. It was the Red Table. And um, I think it was like 12 minutes long. So um, I want y'all to watch it. After watching my video, go watch it. And then, you know, rewatch mine if you have any pointers. Um, or probably certain sections of the video, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, to give your own clarity on it, um, so to speak. So definitely go watch it, y'all, because it's definitely interesting. But, you know, my, my I know y'all probably wondering what's my take. I, I you know, to each his own. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Like, it happens. And for people to keep nobody past judgment because some of y'all in open relationships don't even know. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think. <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely comment below. And until um, next time, peace.